So I have a 2007 uh, GMC Sierra. This is the new, new body style and has a 5.3. I think a Gen 4 5.3 is what this would be considered. And last week I was driving it and started experiencing uh, my oil pressure consistently dropping over about an hour drive. Started out above 40 and as the drive progressed, it slowly dropped and I think I ended up around 20. 20 was at idle when driving. It was probably mid 20s to maybe 30. Truck had oil wasn't knocking or anything so I kept driving it drove it another about three hours and about 10 minutes from home the oil pressure still stayed at that same rate I check engine light came on so it came home scanned it and I was getting a p0521 code uh, which there happens to be a GM service bulletin on that bulletin basically states that if you're experiencing that code uh, and you have a certain oil filter installed to replace it so my oil filter was a Mali filter, so it wasn't the exact uh, AC Delco filter that the service bulletin was referring to, but it wasn't the filter they said to replace it with either. So uh, the AC Delco filter they say if you have installed and you're experiencing the issues to replace would be the PF48E filter. The bulletin would state to replace that with the UPF48R filter. So I ordered one, came in in about a day or two and I installed that. At the time, I also installed a new oil pressure sensor, or the switch, uh, which, so this is located on the driver's side of the back of the engine. If you pop the engine cover off, it's probably a little easier to get to and find. With that, I also ordered an oil sensor socket. Uh, so this is a 1 and 1/16, I think a 29 millimeter, maybe 27 would also work. Uh, this one's six point, but it's deep enough so that the end of the switch or sensor can slide up in without issue so i was able to get it off with just this socket and a three inch extension and i have a swivel uh three ace ratchet so this did the trick to replace it in replacing it uh that instantly made my oil pressure increase so i went from typically i'd always see maybe around 40 uh max but now i'm seeing when i first started up i'm probably at about 60 as the truck kind of warms up, drops down. Idle doesn't go below 40 PSI, at least what the gauge is telling me anyway. I haven't checked it manually, uh, but I haven't gotten the P0521 code anymore. And when I'm driving, the truck's under load, we'll say 2,500 RPMs, um, we're up, I'm up around 55 to 60 PSI. So it definitely seemed to increase in my case. Uh, I didn't have to worry about or concern with the oil pump pickup O-ring. Uh, because I had that apart about a year ago and I know that that's a new uh, O-ring and was replaced. And I video footage of that from, uh, from back then too. There's some old videos of me working on the truck then. So I didn't have to worry about that. The truck wasn't making any engine noise. The oil pressure sensor itself, um, I, I don't know if that was necessarily bad or if I was just experiencing some issues with the oil filter, but the sensor that was in this truck wasn't the original one. Like I said, this truck is an 07, and I had replaced that in 2014. The sensor was eight years old at this point, probably had close to 75,000 miles on it. So chances of it being bad are, are, are high. I don't think I replaced it with an OEM one or an AC Delco part at the time, so that could have been the culprit. But like I said, so far, everything's good. I've gone on about a probably driven the truck about five, 400 miles since uh, since this fix. And one of those was a, a 250 mile round trip uh, to go pick a car up with a trailer in tow and, and didn't see any issues there. So, so far I think this was the fix for me. I think this applies the bulletins for 07 to 13, uh, 5.3, probably six liter, maybe even 4.8 engines as well. So I'll post the service bulletin number in the description along with the oil filter that i used i'll even include the uh the socket that i purchased to replace the sensor as well so for me this did the trick see if it works for you